Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trayvon's RV Center here to congratulate you on the purchase of your Jayco Red Hawk 24B motorhome. You guys picked a really cool unit here. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration. On your campsite, your awning. You have plenty of room for that to come out. On your off campsite, your slides. You have plenty of room for them to come in and out unhindered. Preferably nothing hanging over top, even though you do have slide covers. Then leave yourself a nice walking path here. Because the next thing I want you to think about is where your power and water connections are going to be. Got your slides out right now. But just ahead of your tire here is going to be your power. Long power cord stores conveniently in there. And then your city water connection is going to be all the way at the back on your driver's side of your tow of the, uh, your vehicle. So once you've arrived. Parked accordingly, got your unit all set up. First thing we're gonna do is hook up your power. So again, inside here, stores your power cord. So at the end of your 30 amp cord, if you need to plug in a home, there's a 30 to 110 adapter, comes to your convenience pack. Get your power hooked up, let's hook up our water. Now your city water connection is right here. However, inside your last compartment here, underneath your slide, is your settings. So if we're gonna hook up the city water connection, first thing, water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is gonna reduce your water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protect the lines in your unit. Hook that up to your city water connection. Hook up your hose. Don't turn your hose on yet. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the city fixtures. That's gonna be two and six. Straight up here to the right here, two and six. Now, before you turn your hose on, let's find your hot water heater. Coming over here to your campsite. Just below your, above your tire, is your hot water heater. All we're doing at this point, making sure our drain plug's back on. Get that, you may have left it out last time you were camping. Get that on there nice and snug. Once that's in there, you can go ahead and turn on your hose. Go inside, open up your city, your uh, water tanks. Turn all your water on. Once water is coming out of there, you know that all the air is out of your lines and you can go ahead and turn on your water heater from indoors. Now let's say we're gonna go camping and we're not gonna use city water. We're gonna go dry docking. So for dry docking, we're gonna to go to one and four, which is country fill. One, four, fill up your tank. The way to tell when that's full, go inside where you check the levels of your tanks, hold your fresh water button down, that'll tell you when that's full. Once the country fill is done, turn it to three and five. Three, five, and then turn on your water pump. Remember, don't turn on your water pump when hooked up to city water. That's already pressurized. To sanitize the winterized lines, there's your settings for that. Got our water hooked up and our power hooked up. Let me walk you around the rest of the unit. So you do have this storage here with your dump, dump hose for your dump station here. Black and gray holding tanks. Here's your fuel. You have an outdoor shower. Black tank flush, we'll talk about that when leaving the campsite. Your city water connect. 
Again, storage for your power. There's your generator. I'll go inside and start that up in a minute. So real quick here, I wanted to start your generator for you. There's a start button. She revs up. Well, what y'all do is show you that running. One in four thousand burn nicely. Now it is a good idea to start those now and then. However, don't start and shut them off right away. Let them run for about a minute. And you simply hit stop. You'll never want to start and stop that right away. There's your low point drain. And there's another storage. Coming around to your off campsite, or to your campsite, excuse me. One thing I want to mention, I'm going to close your door here. This power step, a lot of people preferably, especially coming out, tend to rush themselves. Wait for that to come out before stepping on it. More storage. This one here is your propane, your full propane tank. This is where you turn that on it. Again, more storage. This is a flue for your furnace. If you run your furnace to clear that, it'll get rather warm. It's a vent for your microwave. This is access to the back of your fridge. In case techs ever need to get in there. Again, your hot water heater. Another storage. Quick connect LP here, if you wanna put a grill outside. And low point drain, which you can see here, but that's where you'll dump them at. Come around to the back of the unit. There's your backup camera. Your ladder, utilize it. Go up there and check your seams on your roof a couple times a year, caulk as needed. And that about covers everything on the outside. Let's go take a look inside your unit. So coming up inside your unit, first thing I'm gonna point out, your house battery is underneath here. Here's your house power. Turn on and off all the power to the unit. Your power step on and off. Speakers inside or outside. You're on in and out. I'll go ahead and run that out real quick. Exterior lighting. That's your awning light. Your awning running out. So you're only going to want to run this out. Just until you see that white flap fall down to 90 degrees, once you can see your gray bar, you know you're out far enough. Now you see that will extend further. Just wanna pay attention to it. Stop it where it needs to be stopped. Run that back in for you. As I'm running that back in, next to the exterior interior light is your 12 volt carbon monoxide detector. And the reason I mentioned this 12 volt, it's always running off your battery. So if you're not plugged in somewhere to charge your battery, make sure you use a battery disconnect to keep this from running your battery down while you're gone, if you're out dry docking. Run that the rest of the way in. Shut off your awning lights and continue inside. 110 here. Here's some interior lighting. To the right of your door, as soon as you walk in, your fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone that's camping with you knows the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway in case of an emergency. Continuing your unit, up here on the wall. This is where you start to stop your generator. Here's your slide. We'll run your slide back in shortly. Here's, here's where you check your levels of everything. There's your brand new battery. Your fresh water tank, that's when you can tell when your potable water is full. And your black and gray tanks. Down here is where you turn on your water heater. Over here if you're hooked up to electric. Over here if you're hooked up to gas. Here's where you turn on your water pump if you're using potable water. And here's where you turn on your tank heaters if you're in inclement weather. Coming around your kitchen here, you do have a little pop-up power station, USB ports and 110. Your self-explanatory microwave. 
do have a high and low fan as well as a light here the glass top here makes an excellent backsplash you have a panel light here turn this to light it'll turn from blue to red hit your spark and there's your flames same thing on the oven uh, no need for a pilot light anymore simply turn this to light here turn on your oven light turn that to light spark it here and then set it at the desired temperature coming over to your Nordic cold fridge turn that on we'll go through the modes auto auto means when you're plugged in you're running off electricity as soon as you unplug that will have an A plus the gas light just get or just electric just gas or auto over here is going to be where you change your temperatures one through five five be the coldest coming into your bathroom I'll mention in here your lighting and a, a fan you can actually set this up here as well uh, you have to hand crank that open you have a 110 next to your shower or next to your sink here come back into the bedroom you can run this slide in and out from back here um, lighting and your thermostat shut that off then we turn on the AC get that running shut the AC off and turn on the heat crank that up now you notice when I shut the heat fan off it takes a few minutes longer for the heat to shut off than it does for the AC and individual fan work here prep for a TV you can mount a TV here 110 and cable hand crank open vent here down here next to your wardrobe here is an access panel to your breaker box and an access panel down here in the bottom to your fuses that snaps up from the bottom let's get it open there we go looks like you got a ton of 15s in there i highly recommend having them on hand with you when you go camping You bet, of course, after opening your slide, you just fold this down. Make sure you fold that back up before bringing the slide back in. Come around here to your television. On a remote for that, that'll be right inside this drawer with all your paperwork and air filter or water filter. So you have to fire your TV, you have to set that up that off you also have a remote for your sound system which is up there so this leg will remove you can simply take this top off remove that leg set this top down in here remove the back cushions put them on top and you have a bed have another bed up here simply fold this down do you have individual lighting for up here There's your smoke alarm. Talk about your King Jack antenna. I'm gonna crank that all the way to the right when you get at the cab site, that'll lift it up. All the way to the left for travel. And that about covers everything on the inside. Let's act like we're leaving the campsite and close the unit up. So the first thing I like to do come down and shut off all my interior lighting that's exterior power step speaker inside you can go through shut off all of your lights once you know all your lights are off you can come back over to the control panel turn the main lights here And up here is this slide, so we're going to go back to the bedroom. I'll turn on the lights here so you can see this happen. I'm just going to hit in. You see that'll bring this slide in. Doors and drawers is my main phrase. Before you close your unit up, make sure all doors and drawers are closed. 
You don't want anything impeding any slides from coming in. Don't need to rip off any doors or drawers just because you're bringing your slides in. slide in come back up to your control panel our slides all the way in you can control this here or back there it brings in a whole big one slide I do want to show you this going out from this button I'll bring that back in All right, let's act like we're leaving the campsite. One thing I do want to point out on these power steps, be patient for them to come out. Very really easy coming in, but as you're coming out, you want to make sure that you wait for that power step. You can go ahead at this point, just shut off all the main power to the unit, and close your door, and your power step will go in. All right, exiting your unit. You want to lock and deadbolt your door. We're going to come around. Unhook our cable and water. Once your cable and water is unhooked, we can start dumping low point drains. Here's some potable water. This is going to be that tank. Open that up. And if you're going to be using city water, come back around here again. Open up those low point drains. Come to your hot water heater. You're gonna lift up on that pressure release valve. That's gonna dump a bunch of hot water out of there. Be careful, it will be hot. Once that's done, put this back down or your door won't close. And then you can pull your drain plug. Got all of our water drained. Let's head on up to the dump station. Now park accordingly at the dump station. It's gonna be on your driver's side, all the way at the rear of the vehicle. Once you get there, take this 10 foot hose, hook it up, and the first handle you're going to pull is your black handle. Now after it sounds like that's no longer draining, you're going to again take your water pressure regulator, hook up to your tank flush with the hose at the dump station. Put that on there, turn that on with that black handle open, and let that run for a good five minutes. It's going to wash all that nastiness out of your black tank. Once that's done, unhook your hose. Close that black handle and pull your gray handle. That's going to be cleaner waters, your sinks and your showers. That's going to clean your hose out for you a little bit. Take it on, hook your hose, come to your bumper, and conveniently store it inside your bumper. Nice sanitary place for it. Again, we thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this Red Hawk for many years to come. Happy camping.